Hello and welcome back to Gov Jyoti classes. In the last video, we discussed about the rational numbers and the irrational numbers. Okay, so let us revise that and quickly we will continue. The theoretical session was we discussed the types of numbers, natural numbers, positive numbers, whole numbers, zero plus natural numbers, integers, negative numbers, zero and positive numbers, rational numbers and irrational numbers okay so we will learn in detail about the rational numbers and irrational number in this session now terminating decimals and non terminating decimals terminating decimals are those decimals which terminates means stops the decimal do not continue to the infinity and stops or non terminating decimals are decimals which continues to the infinity and do not stop okay so like in the example for terminating decimal it is 1.2 it stops while in non terminating decimal the pi 3.14159 doesn't stop okay so now recurring decimals and non recurring decimals recurring decimals are those decimals which recur means repeats and non recurring decimals which do not recur means do not repeat itself okay uh, now recurring decimals example is 1.3333 and repeats till infinity while non recurring decimal you can have the pi 3.14159 again which is not repeating and not ending too distinguish between rational numbers and irrational numbers what are rational numbers and what are irrational numbers you are going to understand it in detail now if you want to identify a rational number then the rational num decimal should be terminating or non terminating recurring decimal means it either it should terminate or if it is non terminating then then it should be a recurring decimals means a repeating decimal while an irrational number are those numbers which are non terminating and non repeating which do not terminates and do not repeat as well like the pi which is 3.159 and so on till infinity which do not repeat okay and the number 1.101 1001 like that and so on so on do not repeat find the decimal expansion of real numbers it is simple division we are going to perform over here so let's do it 10 by 3 okay 10 will come inside and 3 will go outside the bracket fine like this and 3 3 is a 9 you know well you will write 9 out there and 1 will come down as the remainder then we will put a point in the quotient and then a zero is added in the remainder then we are multiplying it again 3 into 3 gives you 9 then again the remainder will be 1 okay let us do it once more we will add a zero again 3 is multiplied and you get a remainder uh, sorry you got 3 into 3 9 and then the remainder 1 so it is repeating fine let's see another example 25 by 16 make the brackets put 25 inside and 16 outside then 16 ones are 16 isn't it 16 times 1 is 16 you will subtract you will get 9 further add a point in the quotient and zero in the remainder further you can multiply 16 by 5 and you will get 80 then when you will subtract the remain uh, remainder will be 10 then 60 uh, again a zero is added 16 sixa 94 or 96 sorry 96 and then you will get remainder as 4 then again a zero is added now 16 twoza 32 fine So we have thirty-two here, and the remainder will be eight. Then sixteen fiveza is eighty. Fine. So we will write again. Eighty will come down, and you will get a zero. Means the remainder is now zero. So it is a non-repeating decimal. Okay. So the ten by three was a non-terminating and recurring, while twenty-five by sixteen was a terminating, terminating decimal. Now the rules for the uh, to identify whether a fraction is terminating or non terminating repeating okay so first of all the fraction should be in the lowest form and then we will check if the denominators 
factors okay the factor of the we will take out the factors all the factors of the de denominator by the lcm and we will find whether it contains only 2 or 5 or both 2 and 5 if it happens then the decimal is terminating decimal means only 2 and 5 or 2 or 5 any one of them okay but if the denominators factors have 2 or 5 with any other number or doesn't have 2 or 5 then it will be a non-terminating and repeating decimal fine okay so let us see the to find the irrational numbers between two rational numbers let's take the example 3 and 5 so 3 is square is 9 and 5 is square is 25 now if you will do the root of 9 and 25 uh, the numbers between them you will find that they are irrational okay what are certs i have tried to write a simpler definition for it numbers which cannot be written as the power of any rational number or any rational number in root with any power more than equal to 2 are called thirds that root sign is there and you have 2 power or 3 power root 5 like that take care now going further we have the laws of thirds okay what are the laws of thirds see when you are writing root a and then power is n mind that the n is a positive integer okay the power is n and root a is there then it can be also written as a power 1 by n okay similarly if you have root n a power n then it will be a because the n by n will cancel each other similarly when root uh, when the base is different but the power is same you can divide and multiply it as given rationalizing thirds no third in the denominator of a ration, rationalized fraction means if you find a rationalized third then it, the no third rationalized number fraction okay so no third should be there in the denominator of that fraction so how to you know do that we just need to change the middle sign of the denominator terms which we have got okay like in the example you have 2 upon 3 minus root 5 okay the denominator is 3 minus root 5 now we will change the uh, middle sign of the denominator and multiply it both up and down means 2 into 3 plus root 5 upon 3 minus root 5 into 3 plus root 5 okay when we will be solving it more further simplifying it you will get a plus b a minus b in the denominator will which will be a square minus b square so because b square will come so root 5 square is 5 so we will you know remove the third now for three terms how to rationalize for three terms we have to group the first two terms of the denominator and the and the last term okay so for the sign between the two terms first two terms and the last term will be changed so in the example you have 3 plus root 4 minus root 5 it will be multiplied as 3 plus root 4 minus root 5 upon 3 plus root 4 minus root 5 to both the numerators and as well as the denominators when you will further solve this equation you will get a number having two terms in the denominators and it will have a third also if in two terms which we saw the first example therefore further solve the exam uh, the expression and you will get the answer in the simplest form okay so i have put some facts about thirds i got okay and uh, you can go through them pause the video and go through them fine then i as i promised there are questions from the exercise kindly solve and you have any problem email me which is there in the de description box or comment fine and then there are i have posted answers of the vi uh, video which was the previous video i gave the question this is the answer of exercise 1.1 and 1.2 was a proving thing so there is no answer for that if you got the right proof then it is done